Israel says it's lifting part of its blockade of Gaza after a request by U.S. President Joe Biden during its visit. Tel Aviv said on Wednesday it won't stop aid entering Gaza from Egypt, and the U.S. says Egypt has agreed to reopen its border crossing to let some aid flow into the enclave. This was an airstrike near that border on Wednesday. A hot blood. Truckloads of aid and volunteer workers have been piling up on the Egyptian side for days as the UN warns of a humanitarian catastrophe. The fallouts from a blast that hit a Gaza City hospital continues, drawing protests across the Arab world, some violence, and a debate over its cause. Hamas says hundreds of people were killed in the explosion and that it was caused by an Israeli strike. Israel has blamed a failed rocket launch by another faction, Islamic Jihad. It's provided these drone images as evidence, claiming it's not consistent with an airstrike. This was Biden in Israel. Based on the information we've seen today, it appears the result of an air rocket fired by a terrorist group in Gaza. The United States on this critically stands for the protection of civilian life during conflict. And I agree, I totally agree for the families who were killed or wounded by this tragedy. The White House National Security Council echoed Biden in Washington, saying the U.S. assessment was based on analysis of overhead imagery, intercepts, and open source information. The Israeli military is also accusing Hamas of inflating the number of dead and it has released an audio conversation it claims is between two Hamas militants discussing a misfired rocket from Islamic Jihad. Islamic Jihad has denied blame. Uh.